This is our second Kramer's rule video, and in this video we're going to solve a system of three equations and three unknowns using Kramer's rule. So just like for two equations and two unknowns, we have determinants to figure out. We have the determinant of our coefficient matrix. We have the determinant sub x, the determinant sub y, and lastly in this system, because we're working with a three equations and three unknowns, we have the determinant sub z. So our determinant is the determinant of our coefficient matrix, so let's go ahead and knock that one out. Um, the coefficients of x are 2, 1, and 4. The coefficients of y are negative 3, 1, and 2. And z is 1, 1, and 4. I'm going to go ahead and expand this using my middle row. Looks the easiest there. I'm going to go ahead and subtract my first minor, minus 1. And I'm going to do this determinant in my head. It is going to be negative 3 times 4 is negative 12. Minus 2 times 1 is 2. I'm going to go ahead and add my next minor. And again, I'm going to do it in my head. 2 times 4 is 8. Minus 4 times 1 is 4. And lastly, I'm going to subtract my last minor. 2 times 2 is 4, minus 4 times negative 3 is a negative 12. So I calculate this. This is going to be a negative 14 um, times a negative 1 is a positive 14. 8 minus 4 is 4. Then we're going to go ahead and add 4 and 12 to get 16, and we're subtracting that 16. So the determinant of our coefficient matrix equals 2. When I do d sub x, I replace my x coefficients with the numerical values of my equation, 5, 0, and 4. And I use the coefficients of y and z. So I'm going to go ahead and expand by my middle row again. Here I notice that my first matrix, or my first minor, is going to be multiplied by 0, so I don't even have to calculate it. So then I'm going to go ahead and add my next minor. So that's going to be 20 minus 4. Then I'm going to go ahead and subtract my last minor, which will be 10 minus a negative 12 and that will give me 16. This will be added. So that's 22 minus a 22. So we get negative 6. All right, let's go ahead and calculate d sub y. We replace the coefficients of y with our, the numerical values of our equations. And it looks like that middle row is going to be the easiest to get. So we're going to subtract our first minor, and that will be 20 minus 4. We don't need to calculate our second minor, which we would have added. But now we're going to go ahead and subtract our third minor, and we get 8 minus 20. And when we calculate that, we get a negative 16. It's going to be a negative 12 times a negative 1 is a positive 12. So we get a negative 4. Lastly, we're going to calculate d sub z. We'll keep our x coefficients, our y coefficients, and we're going to write numerical values of our equations to get this determinant. And it looks like that middle row is going to be the easiest again. So we're going to subtract our first minor. So I get a negative 12 minus 10. We're going to add our second minor. So I get an 8 minus 20. And our third minor will be multiplied by 0, so we don't need to do that calculation. So this is going to be a negative 22 times a negative 1 is a positive 22. 
minus 12 to get 10. Now we're going to go ahead and do the same calculations that we did for our 2 by 2. x is going to equal d sub x over d, which is negative 6 over 2. That gives us a negative 3. y equals d sub y over d, which is negative 4 over 2, which is negative 2. And finally, z is d sub z over d, which is 10 over 2, which is 5. And we write our answer as an ordered triplet. And we can check our answer by plugging it in. This is how you solve a 3x3 matrix or a 3x3 system of equations using Kramer's rule.